Hi guys, uh, this is Dr. Matthew Matt Edwards, and uh, I am your instructor for this course, um, PHY 101. And firstly, I wish you a very successful course, and I look forward to teaching you this semester. Initially, let me just go over some of the salient points of the syllabus and I have that on the screen here for you now. Also, the syllabus is already online, so you can read it at your leisure as well. So here we go then, let's see. So Physical Science 101, um, we will use uh, Blackboard Collaborative. It will be asynchronous online format. The textbook that I will use there is primarily Physical Science uh, the Physical Universe, the 16th edition, uh, published in 2017. Uh, there are many later versions of the book, and all of them can be used. Uh, the content has not changed much at all. Uh, I will post online the problems that I wish for you to do and we will use this book the the 16th edition as the official book but i say again uh, you can purchase any one of the others uh, as you wish so here we go then so a little bit more i am dr matt edwards you can call me dr matthew edwards or mr edwards whichever is is convenient for you you can always schedule an online uh, appointment with me, and I wish for you to do that. My emails are here, both the professional email at Alabama a and My personal email is there as well. Please call me on my cell phone number, not my phone at Alabama a and 256-337-0340. Um, try to call me at reasonable hours, too. So the course is uh, physical, uh, um, uh, physical science to say again. It is a three credit hour course, and it's going to cover forces, motion, gravitation, and energy, energy and power. It's going to cover uh, electricity, magnetism, waves, nucleus, and atom. Um, Learning outcomes. Upon completion of this course, the students will have an understanding of what? The fundamentals of measurements, velocity, force, Newton laws of motion, work energy, gravity, and Kepler laws. We'll understand some important features about heat, electricity, uh, reflection, refractions of waves, uh, atoms, particles, and the nucleus. Additional students will understand the physical processes at work uh, in the universe. St additional students will develop the ability to solve word problems. So I will give word problems. I will give multiple choice problems as well. And I expect you to be able to work through these kinds of problems. The students will improve confidence and skills in quantitative expressions. And build an awareness of how science influences daily lives, develop an appreciation for online asynchronous learning, and the difference between it and face-to-face -face traditional hybrid learning. So this is, will be online uh, asynchronous, mean not at the same time that I prepare the information do you receive it. That's asynchronous learning, and so we'll work through that. Develop an understanding of ethics in life and in the science. I expect everyone to be ethical in this class uh, and to treat each other with decency and respect. That is the way I will treat you. So I expect you to read through this, this portion here. Uh, there will be a great deal of homework assignments given uh, for each chapter. I'm going to start with chapter one and chapter two of the book. And I will immediately begin to give uh, homework problems uh, from these. You must do the homework. It is critical 
the grade of the course will come from the three regular examinations uh, and the final exam. Um, you get very few points uh, for homework uh, in terms of grading the homework, but you can't pass the examination for the most part uh, without doing the homework. So it's critical that you do the homework and turn it in uh, in a timely manner. Uh, we, we do not have to worry about uh, attendance other than you must take the uh, attendance quizzes. I will give quiz um, periodically, uh, mostly on Tuesday or Thursday I will give a quiz uh, so that I need to officially call the roll in the class, and that's one way that I do that. If you have a disability, Please let that be known to me. You don't have to announce that to uh, your peers. And uh, I work with you through your uh, disability. There is a tutorial uh, assistance on Alabama A&M campus. It's called TAN. It is located in Buchanan Hall. The phone number is given here on your syllabus. Please seek this, this resource out uh, uh, as you need to. This is important grade determination and exemption students having at least a 94 examination average on exam one and three will be exempted from the final exam with the a grade awarded for the course you say well how on earth i'm going to get a 94 it it really happens if you do my homework turn in your homework timely take the examination be prepared for the examination you will find too that uh, nearly every problem that will occur on the homework, I'm, I'm sorry, that will occur on the examinations, we will have worked those problems out during the class settings. I will have worked the problems out on some video and have posted them online, et cetera, and you get a chance to practice them and learn what I'm teaching. So it's quite possible and I expect you to do that. So this is the way the distribution would occur. You, you get some points for uh, uh, attendance and participation in class. Homework uh, submission, et cetera, is given there. The examination, the final exam in the course, okay? So we will, this is the grading system. Mine is pretty standard here. Uh, 70 to uh, 79 is a C, 60 to 69 is a D, zero to 59 is an L, and of course 90 to 100 is an A. Uh, something is missing here. Uh, I have to go back and and correct that. The uh, B is not there. Um, the uh, 80 to uh, 89.9 .9 is a B. Okay. I teach in terms of modulus, so we'll get started right away. With, with chapter two, chapter one, and proceed as we have here. That's what I wanted to share with you then. So you see somewhere around week four, we will have the first examination for modular one, then we'll go on into modular two, and on and on and on. There will be a modular three, and we'll be nearing the end of the course uh, at that time. Okay, so I wish you much success in, in this course. Please go through the syllabus. If you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free to contact me, okay? Have a good day.